Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to deal with dean bats. You, you'll notice I have so many dean bats because I think you get your best bang for your buck from a dean bat. You get 26 for in the silhouette shop, I think it's $5.99. And so you're getting 26 pieces for a lot less. Now the good news is that these are easy to manipulate in Silhouette software, which is totally free. I am in the designer version, but I believe you can do most of these things in the regular software version. So first of all, once you've bought something, it should be in your library. You can see I've clicked over here onto my library and I'm in my fonts. So I just have some of the fonts that I created. Now every dingbat is a little different and you can cut and print them a little differently, right? Like so for example, I actually I really enjoy this little quirky girl set that I made and you can see it shows up here in my font file and if I click on my artboard it immediately wants me to create a piece of type with it. So I'm just going to put in some letters and depending on the letters I put in I get a certain picture, right? So we're gonna make these quite a bit bigger. I'm going to select on it. I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm going to make this bigger. And you guys can see right here, here are these silly quirky girls. Okay, so of course you can print them. You can also cut them out like this. They are kind of meant to be standalones, but perhaps you want to make some adjustments to them. And the first thing you need to know to do is grab them all and do an object ungroup and this makes it so that you can manipulate them and change them and move them around. Perhaps I want them all holding hands. I can rotate this one around and have this one come right up close to this one and it's not going to quite work. Oh, she's going to have to be in the middle and I'm going to grab all of these girls. Now, if I want those, all of those lines to be merged together, what I need to do is make sure that they are all touching where I want them to merge. Make sure you're selected on all of them. Sorry, that was the first thing. And then you want this little piece right here. Do you guys see this? It's like a circle and a rectangle together. If you click on that, it will merge all of these pieces together so they'll cut them together. Now this is a really intricate cut, so you're gonna probably wanna make it bigger. You can do, this piece behind me is a dingbats pushed together. So this is actually much easier to do than you would think. Okay, let's choose something that is actually a little bit easier. Let's go to our library and I'm gonna choose, let's do some flowers, because I think the flowers are actually really easy to use. Okay, so I've got all these great little pieces here. I'm gonna click off of it, then grab it and pull it over. Grab my shift key, I'm just gonna make this bigger just because it's easier to see all the pieces. Now, so you'll see that there's a lot of different things going on. We're gonna focus on this flower right here because I wanna show you some tricks for dealing with pieces that maybe you don't want an outline for, but you wanna fill it all in. Do an object ungroup on this. I'm going to grab this piece down and I'm actually going to zoom in just so that you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so this is how you break something like this apart. So I'm going to grab this whole thing. Let's first check and make sure there's no way to ungroup it just regularly. You can see that's not ungrouped here. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release compound path and what it's going to do is going to well, you don't totally know what it's gonna do because it depends on how many pieces are there, but it'll allow me to take all those lines separately. So release compound path. So now what it's done is it's made this layer and it's made this layer. So now when you go to cut this piece, which this is like you've hardly had to do any work, you basically can cut this piece, you can cut this piece, this piece, and this piece, and this piece. Do you see what just happened there? Is that not the most awesome thing ever? So what you've done is you can make this one white, this one pink, this is yellow for the inside, maybe black, and then two green pieces. You basically cut apart something that's gonna look amazing when you cut it, okay? And you can do that same trick with the quirky girls or anything else. But that's it, you guys. Now, if you are trying to make adjustments to the actual pieces, See these little quirky girls? If we wanted to, we could compound path, release them all, and create cool different layers, okay? 
or we can do cutouts. Like there are so many things you can do with this. But one of the things that um, I also will do is I'll come over here. here here's my eraser. Perhaps I'm not interested in cutting out all of these different pieces. Let's just zoom in here. Um, I'm going to change this um, eraser size to quite small. I will come in and I will totally erase areas that I don't feel like uh, I'd like to cut. So if you are trying to keep them all together, that's the other tool I'm going to use. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope that you're using Dingbats because there are tons of bang for your buck and they are super fun to use. You'll notice most of mine, um, I'm trying to draw everything in the same style so that they mesh well together. So if you get something that looks a little more classical, they're going to go together. If you get something that looks more whimsical, they're going to go together so you can mix and match. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you are not one of my Silhouette VIPs, then you need to join because it's totally free. And I send out a freebie every single week to my VIPs on Tuesdays. So you can get that at KarinaGardner.com. Click on uh, exclusive VIP and just join right there. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, then make sure and subscribe because you'll get cool videos like this all the time. Okay, I'll see you guys later.